Hi, Cancer. My what a sign, Cancer. So I was pre-shuffling y'all cards and some cards fell out. I have them in my hand and there's some on the table right now. But before I get started, you guys, let me tell you guys what happened to me. I got locked out of my Gmail account, y'all. My phone was off. I couldn't even get back in, you guys. I was so torn up. I was like, oh my God, I got to get back to Cancer's. But, you know, that's why I've been missing. So I apologize to you guys for that. But, this is going to be your April 2023 love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, Cancer. So take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest for another Cancer. Now, keep in mind, this is general, so this may be a family member, a friend, a lover, a co-worker, or a neighbor who I'm speaking of, okay? This may have happened already, or this may be getting ready to happen, or this could be happening right now. But I'm seeing someone ghosted you right here. It says abrupt ending, no closure, ending all communication. So it happened very abruptly. You didn't get any closure from this person. This person just stopped talking to you. And I feel like you tried to offer this person love. It says sincere offer of love, romantic gift, expression of love. Yeah, I feel like this person ghosted you. You may have given them something. Or you may have tried to send them out a love offer here. You're very angry with this person. It says resentment, invalidated, mistreated. This person triggered you. You're very angry with this person because they just ghosted you. They just stopped talking to you. And I feel like right now you guys are focused on work. You guys are throwing yourselves into your work to get your mind off of it. You could be working long and hard hours, okay, or working on a project or trying to master your craft right here. But I see this person wanting to reconcile with you, okay. I feel like you tried to make things work with this person and that's why you're angry here, okay. But they're coming in. They will return to you, Cancer. They will come back. Okay, it says once to work things out, they will return. There's unfinished business. They want to have a brand new beginning with you, start a brand new cycle with you. But I feel like this is somebody you may have ended the cycle with, ended the connection with, or you about to. Okay, but they want to have a clean slate, a fresh new start with you. Yeah, after some sort of ending. So I say you've ended things with this person. You ended things with them permanently. You're not giving them any more chances. And you're saying goodbye to the old. Let's see what else is coming out for cancer. What else is coming out for Cancer? What other messages is coming out for Cancers for April 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm sorry, guys. The window is open. So, please forgive me for the noise outside. Yeah, but I feel like you did not expect this to happen. It says, shocking events, unexpected, surprise, did not see it coming. This is a karmic connection. It's full of turbulence. This past life unresolved issues here. This person is toxic, low vibe, and they're not good for you. Okay, this is a low vibrational toxic relationship. And I'm seeing their memories here. This person is thinking of you, missing you. You may be thinking of this person or missing this person. But I feel like somebody is stuck in the past. Okay, and that's what makes this relationship so toxic, so low vibe. Because they're stuck in the past here, okay. But I feel like the good times, you know, is with somebody's reminiscing about. They're looking at pictures or text messages you know just thinking of you here now i feel like because of these memories you guys are indecisive okay not knowing if you want to cut them off for good uh your feelings could be conflicted but you're just unsure of the relationship you're unsure this will work i'm seeing renewed hope i'm seeing a bright future coming in for you i'm seeing you guys do the work okay you guys are doing some healing work here with the star card showing up What's the outcome? And then we're going to get into tarot. What's the outcome for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Yeah. I feel like you're closed off and blocked off from this person. Or this person could be. They could be avoiding intimacy or unavailable. They could be avoiding opening up to you. They could be holding back. This is somebody you took a break from. I feel like you guys are wanting to travel or you're getting ready to travel. Go on vacation. Take some time off. This could be a getaway. Or this person is closed off and blocked off to you. Maybe they told you they were going to travel towards you. Okay, Cancer. But this person is a habitual ass liar. Okay, they're lying to you. I feel like when they told you they was going to come travel towards you, they may have been lying. Or this person is just a liar. They're constantly lying. They can't hide in their lies anymore. Their lies are going to be exposed here. And I feel like this person is stalking you. Curious about you, not over you, you know, could be checking your social media or could be just riding past your house or your job, asking a family member or a friend about you, trying to get some more information. They could be getting ready to take a risk to and reach out to someone that you know. Yeah, but I just feel like 
Yeah, whoever this is, <laughs> they're secretly stalking you. Mm -hmm. Let's get some messages from the Tarot. So at the bottom of the deck, Cancer energy. I feel like you're moving forward. You're moving on. You're overcoming these obstacles, these burdens, and you're not feeling stuck. I feel like there's movement ahead. Okay, you could be moving physically, like relocating to a different city, state, country, or town. But someone feels like you put in too much time and effort to give this relationship up. So this person is going to travel towards you because you spent a lot of time, money, and effort on this person. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. But I feel like your intuition is on point. You're listening to your intuition when it comes to this person. This could be a family member, a friend, a job. But yeah, your intuition, I feel like you're right. I feel like you are so on point when it comes to this person. Okay. What else is coming through? Yeah, it could be an Aquarius. I see you guys are celibate, going cold turkey and healing here for some of you. Okay, with the star card, you could be in the spotlight here. Okay, yeah. This person is wanting to come through with a um, brand new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups. This could also be new love coming through for you guys. Okay. This is another Cancer you could be connected to or a Pisces Scorpio. But I'm seeing here somebody's getting ready to chase after you. Okay. Somebody here with the Knight of Swords could be a Gemini Libra or an Aquarius. Yeah. What is happening here? Yeah, I feel like this person is going to chase after you. They're going to take this risk to chase after you. They're going to take this leap of faith, okay? But I feel like it may result in a heated discussion or some sort of an argument because they feel like a fool, okay, for whatever it is that they've done. But I feel like um, you're not wanting to accept this person's offer. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. You're closing the cycle out with them. You're done. There's a new opportunity, a brand new beginning, or a brand new start ahead of here for you. And I'm seeing here, you could be connected to an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Taurus, or a Leo. But I feel like you guys are done with this person. Okay. Yeah. They may they may try to offer you love, but you're rejecting it. You're like, no, I'm done with you. You could have blocked this person too, or you could be blocking this person. Yeah, it could be a Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like, yeah, you could have blocked this person from your social media here. Or this ending, I feel like you didn't see this coming. You know, but you're cutting off people, places, and things that no longer serve you. I feel like you will allow this person to speak to you if they wanted to. To bring um, clarity into this uh, connection. To bring you some clarity here. Okay. Yeah. They want to conversate with you, though. They want to apologize. But I do see that you blocked them. But they want to apologize to you. They want to offer you a cup of love or make a romantic gesture. Yeah, they want a second chance, you guys. They want a second chance with the judgment. This person is going to come back around to you. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to come clean. Seven of Swords in the reverse. They want to clear the air with you. Okay, this is somebody that needs to make a confession here to you. Okay, but you see this person as someone who's not changing. Who you lost respect for. You may see this person as weak. Let's see. Yeah. So you may have been married to this person. You may have lived together with this person. I had talks of living together with this person. But they feel you're like home to them. And they want a reunion with you. Okay. They want to uh, come back home or come back around with the four of wands. Yeah, they don't want to be lonely. Yeah. This is someone that left you hanging. Pisces energy. Left you on hold. Left you on red. Okay. Left you waiting with the hangman. Yeah. They left you waiting over here. But they want to talk now after all that waiting. Because I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, you were also waiting. You know, you were waiting. This person, I feel like they were going to travel towards you. Or they plan to travel towards you. You know, to work things out with you. They don't want to give this up. Okay. And so I see you just playing it cool. You know, being calm, cool. And very collected here. You know, I feel like you will listen to what this person has to say. But they want to bring you some honest communication and an ace of swords flipped over. Yeah, they want to take accountability or conversate something to you. But I feel like both of you are speaking your truth right here. But you're going to get some very clear, honest, clarity, mental and emotional from this person. But it's like you know the truth about this person. That's why you're detached. You're going cold, giving them the cold shoulder. Okay, you're making a head of a heart decision to cut this person off. But I do see them coming in to communicate with you. This person is someone from your childhood. Someone you've known since you were little. 
okay? This could be a baby mama, baby daddy, or soulmate connection. Or this is someone that you have a very sexual chemistry with or sexual connection with. I feel like they want to come back around. They want forgiveness. Yeah. They want victory with you. You make them happy. So they want victory with you. Why is the Six of Cups here? What's the outcome? What's the outcome for Cancer and this person? They find you very attractive, okay? But I feel like this person did ghost you. Okay, they see you standing on your on your throne, standing in your power. But I feel like you don't want to be bothered. You detach yourself from this person. You don't want to be bothered with them. You don't want them... You don't want to speak to them. You're very wise. So this person is older than you. But I'm seeing that somebody got ghosted. Yeah, somebody was betrayed and backstabbed. Okay, this person may have to give you some money. You may have loaned them some money. They may have loaned you some money. But somebody owes somebody some money. Okay? And they betrayed you. Because I feel like you balanced things out with this person. You gave this person an equal give and take. And they just breadcrumbed you. Okay? They could have been trying to balance things out between two people here. They want victory with you, though. Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands. They want victory with you. They want success with you. They want to manifest you back. They may be um, trying to perform some spell work. Okay. Could be a King of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, this person could be stressed out right now. Or they will be <laughs> with the Nine of Swords. Because you have your shit together. You're investing in your business. Okay. You're focused on your money, your business, your career. And they're stressing over here. Because you're grounded. You're stable. Or you're becoming more stable, more grounded. And it's like this person is staying up all night. Losing hair, losing weight, losing sleep. Because they can't stop thinking about you. They're constantly thinking about you. They feel ashamed here. Yeah, this person's going to reach out to you. Make you a small offer. Make some small talk. Yeah, they want this relationship back. They want this friendship back. They want to be... Around you. They want this partnership back. Whatever this was, they want it back. It could be a Leo. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or somebody that has Leo or Earth. Highly aspected in their chart. Yeah, they want to reconcile. They want to eat, drink, get together and be happy with you again. They want to reunite with you again. Wow. Who is this person? Yeah, they want a brand new beginning with you. Whoever this is. Male or female. Okay, so mature man. So you could be older than this person or this person is older than you. Or you could be up in age, an older man. Yeah, so I see a twin flame connection. So this is somebody that you were in a connection with. But it was a karmic twin flame connection. This person may have a lot of money or you may have a lot of money. Or your luck and fortune is changing for you. And I'm seeing an increase in your finances here. This could be a new job, a new home. Um, uh, this could be a raise, a bonus, a promotion here. There's money coming in for a fair male. Or this person who has money could be a fair male, lighter than darker. This is a new love coming towards you. A new person. Somebody you've never met before. An unknown person. So you don't know who this person is. But you're very cold and detached right now towards new love. You could be a boss or entrepreneur. I feel like whoever this new person is, you guys are going to cut this person out of your life. Or ice them off. It could be somebody you met at work or masculine you met through work. Or a female. This could be a female who has masculine energy that you're detached from. You could do business with this person. Yeah, I'm seeing a career here for you. So you're a boss entrepreneur. You're focused on your career and that is your... You have a love for your career. Your love for your career. I'm seeing an honest connection coming through. But you want to be single. Okay. You don't want to commit to anything. You want. You don't want anything serious right now. You just want to have your freedom. You want to be free. Okay. Or you feel like you freed yourself from a lot of burdens and a lot of obstacles and a lot of things that were holding you back in the recent past. Yeah. So you guys could be into like a certain profession or you guys could be in a college or a workplace. You may work from home. Yeah, there could be work right now that's delayed for you. So if you're looking for a new job or a new hustle or side hustle or another way to make money, there may be a delay. You may feel blocked in your workplace or this college or this profession. Okay. But I'm seeing here, whoever this is. That you try to work things out with. You're not wanting to move forward with them anymore. 
I do see new opportunities, people wanting to date you, people wanting to take you out. I also see abundance. I'm seeing a home. So you could be into real estate or a real estate agent, or you may have properties, or this is your house. You could be having a house party, or you could be meeting someone at someone else's house party, or you could be going to look at a home, or you could work from home. Okay, there's a lot going on with those cards. All right, let's get into the Kipper. Let's get into Kipper. So somebody is sick. Somebody could be sick right now. Or this person was affecting your health. It could have been an older man. Someone older than you. Someone who has money. Or you could be older than this person. But this person may have a lot of money here. Okay. They could be a wealthy man. Or this is you that's a wealthy man. Family room. You may spend a lot of time there in the living room. Or a room with doors. This could be your office space too. Where you get a lot of privacy or your private time. Yeah. Or this could be uh, a real estate agent helping you look for a home here. Okay, yeah. I'm seeing sudden wealth. So for a lot of you, I see sudden wealth coming through for you. Where this could be like a scratch off, a quick pick three, uh, pick four. This could be a mega million Powerball ticket. This could be um, something from the IRS. This could be something um, that is owed to you. There's some sudden wealth coming in. And I feel like things are changing. I feel like you guys are moving or in the near future you will be moving. Relocating to a different city, state, country or a town. Yeah, this is your expectations. I feel like you do expect this to happen with this unexpected income. So you're expecting some unexpected income. Okay, somebody may owe you some money. Like a large lump sum of money. And they need to pay. Okay, they need to pay you. Or this could be from like the IRS. This could be a stimulus or some benefits but this could be um a new opportunity coming in for you whether this is a new job you could be self-employed you could be finding a side hustle or you could have a way another way to make some money or there's some money coming in from you that you did not expect there's some money coming in for you that you did not expect yeah and i see you getting a house or you could be thinking about getting a house or buying a house or financing or leasing or rent but you feel stuck in a house okay you may have somewhere to live now but you feel stuck trapped and blocked there okay you may need more space or more rooms in your house yeah I feel like your justice is going to be served with adjudication card or you could be taking someone to court this could be a lawsuit this could be an order protection or restraining order because I see somebody may have gone to jail Okay, somebody may be in jail and I feel like they have to go to court. Or maybe you took someone to court. Could be a divorce. Could be an order protection restraining order. But whatever this adjudication is, somebody could be getting locked up. Or you may just feel stuck, trapped, and blocked. Because you want your justice to be served. You want balance to be brought back into your life. But right now, you're feeling like a blockage. So that is it, you guys. That is all the messages that I have for you guys for today. If you like this reading, if you want to see me do more readings like this, make sure you hit that like button for me right now. Turn your post notifications on to ALL so you won't miss any readings that I upload for you guys. And if you're interested in booking a private personal reading with me, that information will be linked in the description box down below. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time, bye, Cancer. I'll see y'all in the next reading.